Hello. Hi. I'm going to try to find a better view because better I got view? Just kidding. laundry on one side. I said you, what's a better view than that? You had positive vibes on your shirt. All blurry as per the use. Like, what is it gonna not get be blurry? I'm here early, super early. Cuckoo, -coo. it's all good. It's gonna be all crazy sounding for a bit. Okay, well, I got my nephew playing the keyboard over here, but he's got headphones on, so he can't hear it. Look, look at my costume. Are you a uh, um, skeleton? Yeah, with like roses on it. That's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You know, I'm a child. <laughs> I want to do something for Halloween. I just don't know what to do. My friend gave me this shirt. That's the child. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Oh man, I put this upside down. I mean, that's the right way. Okay. Is that Gary back there? No, it's um my friend's son. He's staying with me this week. Oh. Angel, this is this is my my fitness instructor. She's hi. Go coach. He says hi. He's learning piano. He's doing really good. Nice. Really is having a meltdown. Cool. My boyfriend. He's got a job. He's got a gig with, with his, his mama tomorrow. Uh -huh. And he's freaking out because he can't find a piece of equipment. Oh no. I'm gonna call her real quick. I'm gonna hop off real quick, okay? Or mute it. It's blurry.
in case you were having a hard time finding the link. Hello, love. It's really difficult with my other camera. I'm trying to find the right angle, but for some reason it's staying blurry. Let's see if anybody else joins. So you have, do you have two dumbbells, Jennifer? I have two kettlebells of different weights. Oh. Um, and two very, very small dumbbells of the same weight. Uh, two uh, moderately sized uh, dumb, uh, kettlebell. Okay. We'll, 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 um, we'll modify the workout. I'm about to burp. <laughs> But my camera, the other camera, wants to stay blurry. It doesn't want to get, it doesn't want to focus for whatever reason. Okay, I think that's kind of good. Oh, so maybe I should have, maybe I should lower. Oh, you're Well, as well. Okay. Okay. I think that might be better. I think we're going to get started in a bit. Um, I will wait for Tirza to hop off the line. Um, just to see if either Amy or Sarah and Shaw join us a little bit late today. Um, <clears throat> so today we're going to be working on shoulders and upper body. Um, we're going to start off with our seated Z press. So with your, your one kettlebell. So we'll do singles then. Since I, I will all do just one um, 
we'll all do just one arm exercises. So you're gonna curl the, the dumbbell up. Let me see you on this side. Let me see my upper body. All right, cool. So the seated Z dumbbell press, we're gonna do it one arm. So we're gonna curl, curl the dumbbell up and then we're gonna press up for five here with one arm, and then we'll switch the other arm, pressing up for five on the other arm. Once we're done with that, we're gonna do alligator crawl push-ups. So alligator crawl push-ups for five, which will look like be in the alligator position. Feet are gonna be staggered on fingertips on one, push, Bring your hand in front of the other, switch your feet, fingertips on other, push. Okay. Five of those total. Oh my God. <laughs> like I accidentally took a screenshot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so did you, were you able to see the alligator push-ups? Sort of, but it looks super advanced. I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't do that. Just do regular push-ups. Okay. All right, so after we're done with the regular or our strength round, which we're going to keep in for all of the rounds, we're going to move on to our explosive rounds, which is going to be one arm rows. So we're going to stick with one side for the first round, rowing on one side. Then we're going to move to cheat lateral, where we're and you're really gonna use momentum to swing the dumbbell to the side. Then from the cheat laterals, we're going to go into um, one arm cleans. So it's basically a kettlebell swing, kettlebell swing into press up. From here, and then we'll switch. In the second round, rowing with one arm, cheat raise into a one arm swing. Boom, press. And Sarah's joining us. Yeah, I think everybody's just running a little behind today, which is fine. You're not missing anything. I just try to figure out the right camera angle you guys can see me, it's a little bit difficult. So this one will be the floor and maybe I'll turn this camera around so you guys can see. Yeah, everything. So this one needs to see my, my upper body a little bit better. Cool. Yeah, now you guys can see. Great, now you guys can see me when I press up. So uh, the first exercise, so Sarah, we're all gonna use one moderately sized um, weight for pressing. So the first exercise is gonna be a seated a seated Z press, so I'm gonna be seated and then I'm pressing. The second exercise is going to be alligator uh, crawls or alligator push-ups. If you have room, you can do alligator crawls. If you don't, like me and Jennifer, then you're gonna do alligator push-ups where you're gonna be in a staggered stance, hand and feet, fingertips, switch, fingertips. Right, so I'm gonna be on one hand, and then my fingertips on the other side. That's just the angle. Here. All right. From there, we have our um, one arm rows with a moderate weight, bent over one arm row into cheat raises where we're using momentum into 
um, one arm cleans. Boom, and then press. Swing, and then press. All right, for our dinner, our, and our endurance round, we're all going to start off with push-ups on our hands. Tirza, you're gonna do start with push-ups on your knees. In the second round, we're gonna do negatives. So negatives are where we're here. Boom, hold down, right? So when we're doing push-ups, you're on your knees. And then when we're gonna do push-ups on our knees, you're gonna do negatives. Does that make sense? All right. So after that, we have core, which is our side planks, regular planks, and then our IWP. So hands out to an I, W, and then press off this. Does everybody have their weights? Does anybody have any shoulder injuries, arm injuries, anything that they need, I need to be concerned about before we get started? <laughs> All right, so um, grab your water, turn on your music. We are going to get ready to get started. So you guys can see, let's try to make sure that we can see. Okay. All right. So we'll start quickly with just rolling our shoulders. Rolling your shoulders forward slowly. Three times. And we'll roll them backwards or in the opposite direction. Then we'll do this drummer. Really get loose. And then we're gonna do um, big circles with your pinkies facing down, putting them downwards, thumbs up. And try to get as much motion as you can. So we're going to do five in one direction, then five in the other. Two, three, four, five. Switch the other way. One, two. Five, give yourself a big hug, stretching your triceps or the back of your shoulder. Switch arms. Roll your neck one last time. Switch directions. All right. Y'all ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, we're, we're doing everything single arm today. So we're gonna start with um, your right hand. So I'm gonna turn on the camera. Oh. You guys won't be able to see the wide view one now. East, where is that? Where is that? Swing. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, I think that's all of us today. Yeah, no, I don't need to expand it. Okay, starting in 14 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll up, press up for one, two, three, 
four, five, switch hands, switch, one, two, three, four, five, good, alligator, push up, Meet down, we're all going to do five together. Turn around. So, alligator position. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and break. What do I eat today? So Tirza and I did the shoulder workout with the boot camp class on Thursday. And this one is definitely going to be, that one was like, we sweat a lot. This one is going to be like, it's, it's going to feel heavier, heavier, more strength for sure. Someone disagreeing with the alligator push-up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were doing... Oh, you're doing regular push-ups, right? I mean, I was trying to bring my knee out and yeah. and do this and then this, but my hands telling me that it's your hands are different than the way he was taught. <laughs> well, I'm not doing diamond push-ups. I'm doing out. We we're supposed to do alligator crawls, alligator mm -hmm. crawls, like crawling like an alligator, but we don't have the space, so it's just a push-up. It's modified. Is this clock moving? No. I was going <laughs> to No. Apparently it was. All right, you guys ready? We're just going to go into the next set. <laughs> All right. Well, curl up. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Switch arms. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Weight down. In position. And one. Switch arms. Two. Three, four, five, down. All right, so we'll make this an actual break. Now the clock is moving. Okay, so that's two rounds of this. We're gonna do it again. And then we're adding in our one arm rows to our cheat laterals to our one arm clean and press. Hello, Snowflake. She's behind me right now. <laughs> what are you doing? I can't even see her. You can see her in the camera. So the five really works with the heavy weight. I have 25s, which is actually five pounds heavier than what I've been doing lately. So it's good. And I feel good doing this weight too, which is important. Jennifer asked for a heavy shoulder workout. So she's like, more upper body. 
It's okay, we have a long break. We're gonna do legs next week. Back to our legs workout. Which is gonna be good. Ready? That's that. One, two, three, four, five. Switch arms. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. And weight down. All right, into the alligators. Pressing for one, two, three, four, five, down. So, yeah, for some reason, I don't know why, when I move forward, it's not doing the thing. So, we're gonna stand up. After this breaks over, we have about three to five minutes of nonstop work, starting with our one arm rows. What are you doing, play play? She's just looking. Being a nosy lady about it. Yep. And if you are practicing weight try or any striking, this is a good time to practice. Shadow box. Or work on your mobility. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four. Grab your weight. Keep the weight flat in front of you, and we're gonna row constantly for thirty seconds. All right. So we got three minutes of nonstop work here. A minute and a half on one arm. Cool. Keep your elbow wide. I want to work that rear delt. So when you're doing your cheat lateral, I want you to like swing the weight, especially if it's heavy. You're not trying to like use muscle because the weight is too heavy. So you're going to. Um, Swing it and use momentum. It's almost like an explosive movement. Five seconds. One arm clean. So we're sticking with the same arm. Clean, press up, down. Clean up, down. Cheers, I just do a one arm overhead press. Don't. Don't clean it. Just do, yeah, just there and then press back up. Which arm? Bend over.
10 seconds. So we're using momentum. <laughs> Try to get that weight parallel. You can bend your arm. Your arm does not have to be locked out. Your elbow can be bent. <laughs> One arm You might be feeling the pumpage in them delts. That's cool. That's what we want to feel. Hold up. Press up for five. One, two, three, four, one more, five. Switch arms. Press up. One, two, three, four, five. Weight down. Alligator crawl push ups. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Rest. Right, this is the last round of this.
one break, one break. You'll appreciate these in the next two rounds because they're pretty heavy. Eight, seven, six, five, grab your weight. Try to find a nice steady pace. Explosive pulls. Straight into the feet pulls. I want you to notice how my arm is bent still. Arm cleans. <laughs> Switch on. Row, starting with our rows. Flat back, maintain a, a flat back. Don't round your back. Pop your chest. Tension in your glutes. Tension your glutes stabilizes your low back. Cheat ladder. One arm cleans. This overhead press, Tirza. This overhead press. I don't want you popping your elbow. Rest. All right, so if you're somebody who has issues with their wrists, I know I do, uh, when we do our push-ups, you can use your, your dumbbells as hand grips. When you do your push-ups, right? So I'll use them as grips for my wrist. First, we're starting with our seated Z press. Shoulder looking mighty swole. Oh, it's a pumpkin. Happy Halloween. All right, so we're gonna have the two minute rest. We're finishing up our two minute rest. Z press, one minute rest, one minute of push ups, one minute of push ups on our knees. 
for Tirza. You got Z press, push ups, one minute rest, one minute push ups on your knees, one minute negatives. Okay. So these are back to back. We're like trying to fatigue out our arms. If for Sarah, Jennifer, and I, if for some reason you're uh, feeling like you want to give up on the push up, I highly encourage you to just slow down, hold the plank and just slow down the reps. Try to do the push-ups for the whole minute. And then we're gonna go to push-ups on our knees. All right. So, two. Press one, two, three, four, five. Switch arms. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, weight down. Alligator push up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Rest. Got one minute rest. One minute of push ups. One a minute of push ups on our knees. Here's a that's one minute of push ups on your knees. One minute negatives. Okay. And then when you do the negatives, you fall all the way to the ground. Hold it before your chest touch and then flop all the way to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Getting ready. This round right here is going to be the true. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. On your knees. Pick up the pace for those of you on your knees. Something for my hand. Twenty seconds. Great.
I'm quiet, which lets you guys know those hurt. <laughs> that was tired. But we got our last round of upper body and then we're moving on to core. Six, five seconds. Roll up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, switch arms. Ready? One, two, three, Four, five, weight down. Alligator push ups. In position. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Break. I'll try. Let's see if we want to focus. Ten seconds. Foot off the camera. There we go.
Ways away. Core time. So we have our side plank with hip raises. go through this with you guys real quick. So we have side plank with hip raises. Um, and then we're going to have just regular planks. This is foam roller walkouts. We'll just, if you have a foam roller, you'll do your plank on the foam roller. If not, just do regular planks. Uh, and then we'll have our IWTs. So on your side. And you're letting your butt tap the ground and then squeezing your glutes up. If this is easy, you balance on one foot, but that's not that's not easy for me. Try to make sure your shoulders are stacked up on top of each other. Foam roller, and then we're going to plank on the foam roller. And so, what I want you to do if you're on the foam roller is purposely kind of roll it in and out. So, you're purposely trying to make it unstable for yourself. I'm just trying to challenge your control in this position. On your belly, reach out to an eye, pull to your W, push out to the T, pull back to the W, press out to the Y, I, W, T, W, I, W, T, W, rest. Thank you. 
Oh, well then. Thanks. Rolling it, drop your booty. Yeah, the I W T W I W. T W I W T W I W Yes. Last round. Last round. W T W I W T W I W T W I W T W I W All right, T. Oh, that was our workout for today. Okay, here we go. Good one. How are you guys feeling? That was a killer arm workout. My arms are burned out. <laughs> nice. It just took a little bit of time. I was like perfectioning it, perfecting it like a like a, a nice turkey, Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> How are you feeling, Jennifer? I know all that stuff at the end was supposed to be for core, but it felt like arms. Yeah, it, it, it definitely was still working our arms with the side plank for sure. The um, side planks will work your stability in your shoulder. And then also when we're doing the hip raises, it actually works um, our glutes a bit, uh, which is people forget like our glutes are a central part of our core. 
So it's not like really belly core, which everybody's used to. It's more um, booty core. And <laughs> did your did your nephew die? Is he dead? Did I, kill I think I accidentally killed my friend's kid. <laughs> I was like, hey, you could do this with the five pounds. And then you had him doing all the core and the, and the push-ups. And he's like, okay, I'm done. He's like, he died. <laughs> all the work arms over here, okay? Okay, we do this, okay? Either. So if he's getting twice the workout. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm glad. What did you think about this from the, this is like a beginner level athletic version of our workout from Thursday versus the workout we did on Thursday. What do you think about the differences? Um, I, I feel like we did more rounds on Thursday though. I was more sweaty, but we were in a basement too. Yeah. No, yeah. we definitely did more rounds on Thursday, but the exercise variations were lighter. And then also the load was lighter too, because we were like, for these ones, like we're like trying to lift heavy, heavy weights. So we had more breaks, uh, but that has, that has to do because we're pushing, we're trying to get the weight heavier and mm -hmm. the exercises were a little bit more complicated, especially with like the alligator crawls. So that's a warm up exercise we do a lot with Jiu Jitsu. Am I doing that right? Did you see what I was doing? Um, well, I thought you were doing just push-ups. I can't see your alligator crawl. It wasn't an alligator crawl, but I was doing a push-up with like my knee up on each side. Yeah, it's it's similar to that. We'll just have to see it when I see you on Thursday. Okay. And then we'll get done. All Good. right. Well, thank you so much, all of you, for joining me. Thank your nephew for joining me. Thank you, Tirza, Sarah, and Jennifer. I appreciate you all. Um, and then also Jennifer and Sarah, I want to check in with you to see if you will be joining me tomorrow for our jujitsu class. Yes. And Sarah, thumbs up from you. Okay, perfect. We're going to push jujitsu to 630 from now on. So we're going to keep it to 630 just 15 minutes later, because I've started a new Muay Thai program. Yay. And it's, um, it's five to six. I can still make 615. But I just kind of wanted to give extra 15 minutes for any last minute, like, you know, stupidness in case. But I'm doing everything in physique. So it's not like I'm, I have anywhere to commute. It's just like going from one mode of being to the next. Uh, so I just want to make sure I give ample space for you guys. We will be continuing with our leg lock series. We're going to complete leg locks from the bottom position this week and next week. I have even more leg locks from passing guard. What? Uh, what? You mean you could you can attack legs when you're trying to pass guard? Yes, you can. So we're going to be going over that in November. So if you were like too lazy to pass the guard, you can just like break somebody's leg and that's what you can do. But we save that to last. You know, we don't, we don't, we try to like make you guys learn leg locks from the guard first and learn how to actually pass first before we teach you how to leg lock from passing guard. So tomorrow we're gonna to be going over transitions and probably refining some more stuff in the last week of October. And then we'll go leg locks from the top position beginning in November. All right, anything else? Anybody die or, you know, other than your nephew? <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome.